Howdy, this is Brother John coming to you from the study room in Dallas Public Library, obviously in Dallas, Texas. Um, this is the first in what I believe will be a long series of vlogs. I've been meaning to do 30 vlogs in 30 days for nearly a year, and I have planned and procrastinated about that and made lots of preparations, and uh, today we're kicking it off. Today is May the 18th, 2017. Um, I want to I'm gonna do a whole bunch to kind of catch up a big backlog and then I want to be putting out about one per day on average. Um, the reason is that I want to kind of be fresh with what I'm seeing and feeling and thinking and imagining and, and events in my life, kind of like a, a, an updated diary kind of a thing. Also, I want to gradually tell the story about my past, I've had a very long, crazy, complicated, intense past. I if I have lunch with somebody or meet them or they want to hear about my time in drug abuse and in alcohol and cult and, and I've been many denominations and new age and done all kinds of things and didn't set out to have that, but my life has been pretty complex. It's, it takes hours to tell it all. I'm not going to take a lot of time. I'm just going to um, do a little bit, a little bit of chunks. I'm going to try to keep it, it, it at three to five minutes, um, best I can, each one of them. I use the name, I'm going to, I'm going to adopt the name, starting now, the name uh, Brother John. Um, and a little story about that. Uh, 64 years old currently. Uh, the thought is that uh, some people watching this, uh, I'm old enough to be your father at 64, and perhaps even your grandfather. If I had children at 20 and I was engaged then, and we had children and they had children, I, I could be talking to my children or grandchildren easily right now. I don't want to come across as a grandfather. I don't feel like a grandfather. I feel like I'm in my 40s. I really do. And um, But I remember when I worked at this seminary, Dallas Logical Seminary, for 12 years, there was a time early on when some African-American brothers were calling me Brother John. And they call each other brother. Uh, and, it, and I just, I loved it. It really struck deeply home. And then a co-worker from India, and when he started calling me Brother John, so just John, they call me Brother John. Uh, maybe it's out of respect or just because I'm friendly. I'm really a friendly person. And I like to come across as a brother, except like a grandfather or a preacher, teacher, pastor, although I preach. Um, and, and I can resonate it that way. I have a brother, three years younger. His name is Jim. He's in St. Louis. And so I want to hold that kind of a vibe with you, that kind of a, of a rapport, that kind of a, of, a, of a sense with you. I find that, um, that men uh, take, takes a little while. They've never had somebody come on to them as a brother. Close, you can trust me. People have told me so many things they never told anybody else. Um, I'm trustworthy in that way. I'm, uh, I keep their, their confidences. Uh, they open up to me. I've had, I've had all kinds of troubles and difficulties I'll talk about later. And so I can identify often with them, but not always. And, uh, I, and, and there are scriptures about that, being a friend, being a brother, and I want to be that. So bingo. Um, also, I like this hat in this room. I take off the hat, just FYI, kind of shiny on the top, not so much hair up there. So I'm going to use a hat. It's kind of like a little part of my brand logo look. I like this look. The beard, the hat, I really like it. Anyway, that's all I have for right now. Um, you know, I need to learn to, to end with this. So I want to end with, uh, please pray for me, both now and as the Holy Spirit prompts you to. I really, really, really uh, desire prayers. Lots and lots and lots of prayers. So I got this far. I'm going to accomplish 1% of all that God has put on my heart. There's many, many people pray many, many prayers, including you. Thank you.